Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a 61 degree Wednesday. Yeah, it's hump day. Wednesday, the 22nd of, uh, of July. I think it's supposed to look just like this for most of the day. I think it's only going to get in the mid 70s. So it's going to be much cooler today. That's okay. No rain. I don't care. Because we get plenty of rain and plenty of it's coming. So let's not get in a rush. <laughs> Welcome to hump day. Sparky over there by the barn, you silly old mutt. Monday morning. Got some good shots. She's in there somewhere. Good shots of uh, deer coming across the road. <laughs> she must be ducked in the bushes. Yeah. You guys ever, when you're vlogging, get the on off switch basically backwards you're hitting record when you're actually shutting it off and then when you're shutting it off you're hitting record so i got a bunch of pictures of the camera in my lap and stuff and, yeah, <laughs> and none of the deer. deer i'm like good lord what stops it is when you power it down you know you're like what happened here oh no i got the button backwards how does that even happen I don't know. That happens on the GoPro sometimes too, but pretty rare because it's in your face. This is the two that we seen in the same place. This must be their Yeah, except for they went around the corner. Yes, the red light's flashing. I, I am recording. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. I talk about a camera goof and I caught them, although we got way more exposure to them last time. Yeah, we yeah. This is the old little Salmon Creek area. It's our detour of the detour. Bye, Hi, little Salmon Creek. Bye, little Salmon Creek. <laughs> well, there, old woman. Yes, hello, man. Hope you have a wonderful hump day. Me too. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna go bust down there and get that tranny done on that K16. Alright. Alright. Love. See you bye. <laughs> bye bye now. I was eyeballing this thing, thinking about that K sixteen hundred B. I just pressed off the first set of uh, gears. All these little bearings. I think I showed you guys me pressing them back on. And then this one, this um, slipper for the shift cog, that has to be sweated off and uh, using the same tool but here's the bevel gear I don't know if I can get a look in here so you can even see it but you can see the, the bevel gear right here let me turn it and you can see it so that's where it's you know making its turn and coming out the uh, output shaft which is facing down I've got it propped up on the with those pliers so you can see it but this is what you know when we had that 16b apart we thought this was this was excessive and that slash between the the two gears and uh all the rest of them seem to be exactly the same that one doesn't seem to be any worse so it's contact from this is the main shaft and uh this is the counter shaft or i'm sorry this is the main shaft this is a counter shaft so if this was a conventional motorcycle, you know, you'd have a sprocket on the end here. But it goes to this, like, a damper type setup, which we can't see anything wrong with that either. But uh, obviously a big bearing. We don't know what's inside there because they don't break it down. Because this is not a serviceable part. You can replace the springs and stuff in this, but this is not reserviceable. you got to buy the entire transmission to get that. But, you know, you don't get tranny wine out of these because they're not straight cut gears. So the transmissions are very quiet in them. But, you know, the way they shift, they're kind of they're kind of clunky, but that's we've gone over all that. If you use Shift Assist Pro, it's super smooth and quiet. The computers are smarter than the human ri driving it. That's all there is to these things. It's like 6500 bucks. I think that's what our cost is on it. For a whole transmission and um, 
I guess at the moment they're not available or back when we were inquiring about getting one for that B. So, I don't know. And yes, people have asked, you know, if we, um, a guy on the car side asked if we talked to BMW, filed Puma. We don't use Puma. Maybe the car side still does, but uh, we use T Serra now. Puma, Puma's nothing but old bulletins now. Um, it's T Serra is what it's called now, and you can, I mean, you can talk back and forth. You can, you can use it on your phone. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd show you guys that one more time. The bubble gear is just changing the angle, so it goes back out to a to a shaft. It just converts and goes straight down the old gullet there and the input it inputs into this or outputs to that and then further back another day in the life of a k1600 we'll get it all sorted out i'm gonna send that t sarah case got closed they only leave them open for a bit and unlike brp and puma you could enter information back into it it never really completely closed. T Sarah, when they close it, it's it's gone, gone. You got to reopen a new case. So I'm gonna send that uh, video clip from yesterday. That probably gives the best sound bite yet out of that. And uh, I, I don't mean to make fun of anybody, but it, I I find it quite comical some of the sounds that people think they're hearing, like fluttering plastic and all kinds of stuff. No, it's. It's very distinctly a mechanical sound coming from that bevel gear area right there. Very loud. Nothing's coming from up front. Not a plastic sound. Very, very metallic. Craziest thing, though. But it seems to be in direct relation to wheel speed. I mean, it changes a different tone because you, you shift the gear, but the noise is still there. It's in it seems to be rhythmic with a uh, wheel speed shaft speed bevel gear speed we'll get it sorted out well i'm gonna have to do a voiceover on this one uh listening playing this thing back the music was clearly coming across it was the elton john song i i would get in trouble for that this is a 2020 indian springfield this color is called sagebrush it is stunning it is the coolest color and then that matte finish oh you ought to see this thing outside i tried to oz went by with it outside tried to run upstairs to catch him before he got inside but he was already parking it but um yeah this thing is so cool looking the most incredible color especially outside you'll notice that uh for whatever reason it doesn't come with engine guards i don't know if this is a different if there's more than one version of springfield but no engine guards it does come with the new uh seat that uh was introduced last year year before on the on the uh, chieftains emblems everywhere no no stickers uh, it just stunning i mean the attention to detail uh i mean really nice this thing is so cool looking. So, uh, yeah, if you guys get a chance, swing by and come and take a look at this thing in person. Or better yet, take her for a rip. She's really cool. Beautiful. Holy moly. You want to know how you know when you're a large dealership? When you literally lose a $30,000 motorcycle. Honest to God. They found it the other day. <laughs> it was uh, mixed in with some ATV crates. And the crates are all the same color. I mean, granite says on-road on it instead of, you know, ATV or off-road or whatever they say. But it can happen. We've literally <laughs> had this thing since Bruce bought his. Bruce's uh, Dark Edition and this Chrome Edition showed up at the same time. And, um, I don't know, you just go through so many of them, you just lose track. And, uh, the hunt went on last week, and one of the sales guys was roaming around, looking at inventory, and goes, hey, there's a spider right there. And he goes, this VIN number you're looking for? Yep, that was it. Really cool, though. I guess, uh, somebody's hot to trot.
going to buy it this weekend. Um, Ryan assembled it this morning, and uh, I'm going to sneak in a, an alignment. Probably not today, but we're going to get her aligned. God, those things are beautiful. And I got some stuff to tell you about spiders, about whining and whistling. This is a very interesting story, but we'll, we'll save that for possibly tomorrow. <laughs> That's Ben. He's looking over the river to see what's going on down in Portland. He was using that to... Uh... Is that a cool view? Can you see Portland? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Heck yeah, man. Y'all go out there and get some. <laughs> they on it. They're on, they're on the side of the road. And just about pulled out in front of a semi-truck. Yeah. I guess they assumed that trucker's gonna move, and he did. That's pretty cool, huh? Sure sounds good. Oh, by the way, we're on our way home. Yes. <laughs> so my uh, KST custom handlebars, they're at the Portland UPS sorting facility. <laughs> really excited to get those. But it's not going to be fun because I'm going to have to, well, I don't have to, but I'm going to wire up my uh, heated grips while I'm, uh, might as well do it all at once, right? While I'm swapping the bars around. Really looking forward to those bars. That's more of kind of mixture between, like, say, my old Road King and uh, the Street Glide. It's a good mix. I think it's kind of cool that... Uh, KST Customs, the name of those bars in particular are the, the Kings, <laughs> the King Bar. So tomorrow is another one of those days where Kelly has to go in early and work late. Literally, it's going to be the three gals running the entire parts department tomorrow. Um, Kelly and one of her co-workers at the parts counter and then a cashier there's a new gal, but I, I think she's still learning. She's um, starting out as a cashier. Those girls rock at that parts counter. It's crazy how, how well they do. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to take the uh, the RT tomorrow. And I threw the uh, panels in the in the trunk once again. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll actually get them put on. I guarantee I'll be dragging them things back. I ain't going to have time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a RO down there. I can even, even though I do it here, I can. It's a warranty thing. Time is, you know, charged to uh, or BRP pays us time to do it. So I get a whole whopping three tenths. I get eighteen minutes worth of pay. What the heck is that sound out there? So anyway, I'll be doing that tomorrow. So we'll we'll be riding a spider. Just got a hankering to take the spider. And uh, oh yeah, to the. Uh, Cause I don't know what that box is going to come in. I mean, I can just take the bars out. I, I can, you know, carry those any old way, but, um, I, uh, I'll probably strap the whole box and bring it home. I dug out a, an old spider customer of ours from way back. There's my panel kit from way back when gave me these back in 2014. I think it's those Velcro straps that, come out as d-rings and what you do and uh i don't think it was specifically for spiders if he came up with this or somebody was selling it as that i i think he just figured it out and got it at some sporting goods store but you wrap them around the passenger uh grips and that way you there's no chance because this is rubber and there's heat and heater heating elements underneath there you don't want to tie anything sharp to that, or you could damage those heating elements. And uh, you don't want your significant other to have cold hands when they're sitting back there. Not to mention, when it's a demo, that doesn't make the powers that be very happy when you uh, damage a unit. Because <laughs> you can't warranty that. But anyway, so tomorrow, we'll be riding in together. 
Oh, and the spider. Heck yeah. Looking forward to them handlebars, man. Hold tight. You're about to have some fun bars on you there, roadie road king. <laughs> well, hello there, you two. <laughs> I just out in the shop talking to you there a second ago. I just went in there and said, Woman, get out of here. We got to do a goodbye vlog. We got stuff to do. Quit messing around. <laughs> got to get up early so I can ride a motorcycle. Right? Yes. Just because you're going to gather more stuff. Make sure I don't forget my dadgum tool keys. Oh, Jeez. Yeah. I've done that twice this year riding to work because I keep them in a certain place on my photo bag and grabbing everything. I grab house keys, you know, just the normal stuff and somehow or another. Make sure I got the shop keys, you know, so I can lock up and everything down there and get in, get out. That gum toolbox keys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't keep them with my, with my regular keys, but anyway. I've been good about it lately. So. Yeah. Used to leave them there, but the the younger crowd figures out where I stash my keys. The next thing I know, stuff's missing. I gotta go hunt it down. Yeah, you need to make a set and give them to mom. Yeah. 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 But I've gotten pretty good at picking locks on that thing. Though. <laughs> There's one that snap-on box, man. Leave it the snap-on. Can't get into that one. No. Nope. Yeah, whatever's in that box, you're just not getting today. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you don't need it. Yeah. But I can get in the other ones. I got pretty. Ah, there's something I was going to have. Something else. But. It popped in his head. Yeah, yeah. The tool guy was there. It reminded me of a tool. But anyway, I think I'm roll out. Get a good night's sleep. And take a speed rider ride. It's probably kind of cool in the morning. I think it's supposed to start out. It's supposed to be like today, but like a degree or two cooler. Cooler. Yeah. Okay with that. It was beautiful out here. It was. Heck yeah. All right. That's all you got, Paul? That's it. I'm done. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. All right. All right. Crack old dark. Y'all be staring through the windshield in the front hood of a 2020 RT Limited. Yes. Dark edition joke. I think you're such a nut. <laughs> I hate the guys that list off. Yeah, this is a model 23.12. This was redesigned and went. Oh, this, yeah. Dude, I'm just asking you about the jacket. I didn't need all the details, yeah. you know. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure glad I purchased these, you know, 12.3 Zing Zang Wing Wings because they're sure coming in handy right now. I know. It's like, can I, like, accidentally knock your Cena off your helmet because I don't want to hear that again. You know? I'm not. Exactly. <laughs> People are strange. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. Thanks now. Bye-bye. <laughs>